Today, I'm going to show you how to create a chatbot easily for your small business that can help answer user questions and help with customer service. I go to this yoga studio near where I live, and I'm gonna build a chatbot for them that can help answer frequently asked questions from clients and also help users choose which classes they should book. So first, I'm gonna create bot and give it a name and a description. And I'm gonna upload a profile picture. So this is the prompt that I gave the chatbot. So first I give it a character. So basically you're a friendly assistant for this yoga studio uh, with this address. And then you can help answer student related questions, assist with booking classes, etc. And I give it some tone such as patience, affability, and serene nature. And then I prompted with several skills. So the first one is respond to questions related to the studio. And the second one is recommend yoga classes. And because I wanted to be able to output the answer in a certain format, I actually put this format here so it will know how to format the answer. And this is their book link. So I always include this secure your spot now at URL. So the users will always be directed to that URL that when they want to book lessons. And the last skill is just to, in general, discuss wellness and exercise related topics with the user. And then I have one constraint, which is um, only talk about the studio or health or well-being related topics and don't talk about anything else. So this is our prompt. And if we just give this prompt to the bot, it's just going to rely on the GPT-4 model and its own training data to answer our questions and it's just gonna make up stuff. So we don't want that, so we obviously wanna add some custom knowledge to the bot. So first, the studio has this website with a lot of um, information. So I just pulled a lot of information from the website and imported it into a knowledge base. Here I'm gonna add knowledge, and we can click and look into this yoga info knowledge base. This is basically what I pulled from their website. So I just downloaded the website as PDF and uploaded it to the code's knowledge. And I'm gonna import it here. So now that I have this, the bot is gonna be able to answer some basic questions about the studio. So for example, how big is the studio? And now it's able to draw from the knowledge to know that it's 800 square feet, which is accurate. If we go and look at the website, this is actually what it says. But sometimes even if we give it knowledge, the bot will still make up information that's not in the knowledge. So prevent that from happening. I'm gonna first add this caveat to this skill. So basically if a query is beyond your knowledge scope, don't fabricate information, direct users to get in touch with the studio by calling this number or emailing this email address. So this is kind of a safety measure to make sure if the bot doesn't know something, it will direct the user to contact the customer support agent or calling the business. Another thing we can do is reduce the minimum matching degree so that the bot is more likely to use the knowledge to answer questions instead of just making up information. So the next skill I wanna program is to be able to recommend classes. Now I have the class schedule in a Google Sheet which includes date, time, name, instructor, description, price, etc. So first I'm going to import this sheet into my knowledge base. So I can click add knowledge, create a knowledge, and then choose the table format. I would just call it class schedule, and I'm gonna choose Google Sheets. So Coase is going to connect with your Google account, and then you just choose the sheet you wanna import and click next. And here you're supposed to choose an index for the sheet. So the way to think about index is what do you expect the user to be asking about? For example, I expect the user to ask what yoga classes are there on Monday, right? So Monday is the date of the class. So I'm gonna index it with date so that the bot is able to return answers based on the date. So when you're trying to choose your index, just think about what do you expect your user to be querying about and then make that query your index. Next, I'm gonna get a preview of the sheet and then if it looks good, I'll start importing. Click confirm. Now my schedule is imported. Let's go back to the bot. 
Okay, let me try adding that table to my bot. So let's see if it's able to recommend classes based on the knowledge base. So what classes do you have tomorrow? It actually says, I'm sorry, I cannot provide a schedule. And the reason it's not able to recommend classes based on the schedule, even though we imported it here, is because this phrase, tomorrow. So the large language model has no concept of time. It doesn't know that now is June 3rd, Monday. So the large language model, unlike a person, actually has no perception of date and time. This is the key issue we need to solve. Once we give the large language model the ability to access the user's time, then it will be able to recommend classes based on the schedule we give it. So the way we can do that is through a very nifty plugin. So here we can click Add Plugin. There's actually a plugin called Get Current Time that is able to get the user's current date and time to the large language model. So let me try adding this plugin and I'm going to modify the prompt so it knows to use the plugin to get the user time first. Use get current time to get the user's date and time, and then recommend appropriate classes to users based on the class schedule. Let's try again. It's still not working, and it looks like it's not recording any knowledge uh, from our sheet. So this is where workflow can come in very handy. By programming a workflow, you can make sure the bot will always consult the knowledge base to return answer. So this will significantly improve your bot's reliability. So I'm going to add a workflow, create a workflow, and just call it and the description I give to the LLM is recommend yoga classes to user based on the class schedule. So as the input, I'm just going to have a simple query, which is what the user told the chatbot. And then I'm going to add knowledge as a node. So what I want to do with this workflow is, is always going to consult my knowledge, my sheet, to recommend appropriate courses for the user. So I'm going to connect this input node to my knowledge node. And then in the input for the knowledge node, I'll just select reference the query node in my previous node. So whatever the user input in the start node will be transferred to the knowledge node as an input. And then I'm going to add my class schedule sheet as a knowledge to this knowledge node. And just to be safe, I'm going to reduce the minimum matching degrees so the bot is more likely to recall the knowledge to answer my queries. And I'll leave the search strategy as semantic. And then I'll connect this knowledge node to the end node. And as the output, I'll just reference the output from the knowledge. So let's test this to see if it's working. Class is on June 3rd, 2024. So as you can see, in the knowledge node, it is returning three classes on June 3rd. And if we, if we look at the schedule, these are the actual classes happening on June 3rd. So it is accurate. So now the workflow looks good. Let's publish and add it to the current bot. So now that I have wrapped this knowledge in the workflow. I'm just going to delete the table from here so the bot doesn't confuse itself. And I'm going to add this workflow into the prompt so the bot knows to use the workflow to recommend classes. So when users ask about classes, use get current time together, date and time, and then recommend appropriate classes using the recommend yoga class workflow. So let's see if it works. What classes are available tomorrow? And is actually able to use our workflow and then know that um, tomorrow is June 4th and then recommend the actual classes for tomorrow. As you can see, this power of vinyasa is actually on the schedule for tomorrow. And it's also able to direct us to the booking link so that I can book the classes right here.
This is because I put the booking link into the template for the answer, so the bot will always include this at the end of every output. So now this bot is able to answer user queries about the studio and also recommend appropriate classes. And if it looks good, I'm going to hit publish and I can add a conversation opener and confirm. So as a small business, you're most likely going to integrate your chatbot into your website as a pop-up window. So you might want to choose the web SDK as the publishing platform. And then you can click installation to look at the code that you can integrate into your web page. So you can copy the code and paste it into your code base. You can look at the web SDK documentation for further details. I'll link to this in the description as well, but basically this is what your chatbot will look like on your website. It's going to be a pop-up window that your visitors can interact with. And here are more instructions on how to install it. And of course, if you have your users in a Discord community or you interact with your users with Facebook Messenger or Instagram, you can publish to those channels as well. So that's it. Have fun building.